Okay, so this is part two of our Get Your Year in Gear. And so I wanted those to be, these to be separate um, because on my YouTube channel, we have a repair skincare class. If you remember last Get Your Year in Gear, we did a repair skincare class, which Sonia did. Raina did a Miracle Set skincare class and Alden did a color class. Those are still on there. This needed to be done because the Miracle Set got updated. And so now Sonia and I are just gonna pull this apart less than 30 minutes. Um, and then you guys are gonna have 30 minutes to work with your guest before noon lunch. And it is a working lunch. Um, so a question someone had, and it made me think, I think Deanne asked this, she goes, where do you get those forms that she's having the guest fill out? And this makes me realize that we have some catching up to do. And one of the reasons that I felt like this was an important training and this afternoon also will be is because we have people who built their business in the pandemic, started their business, earned cars, became directors in the pandemic. So they did it all virtually. And that's great. So they know how to do that, but now they have to be a brand new consultant and do it in person. And a brand new consultant, when I was trained 37 years ago, not having, I wanted what this company had to offer, but I had no idea how to do it. I was taught, go and watch two people's skincare classes. I didn't know anyone. I'd moved to the town nine months ago. I started this. I found two consultants at the meeting that they were doing parties that week. I go, can I just come and watch? I'll be your helper. I'll help, you know, do the, clean your, you know, uh, facial cloths out and just do whatever you need me to do and just watch two skincare classes. Now, because of this virtual component, it's on my YouTube channel. You don't have to go all over the place. I do recommend you plug in locally um, if you can to a studio or a director that is doing weekly success meetings. But that's not necessary. You know, I lived in areas, I went through director qualification with no director in town. And the only thing my 30 people for my unit saw was me doing a skincare class and practice interviews. That was it. They never saw anything else until we debuted because there was no one else doing meetings in Glen County, Brunswick, Georgia, no one. And so this is the vehicle to build your Mary Kay business. But it made me realize like skincare surveys, you may have done a Google form if it's virtual, but a skincare survey comes in your starter kit and people fill it out and you flip it up and it tells you exactly what formulas to squirt in your mirror um, and tray. And there's a video on the board so that Sonia doesn't have to go through all this, but she shows the table, how it's set up for a guest, um, that the skincare surveys then you keep as your customer cards. And I used to tear the white one off um, and keep that as soon as it was put into my file box. Well, now you're putting it into my customer, right? And you can have a teenager do that to put it into my customer. That's a system that will help you keep up with your customers but it's a skincare profile. So we can use the Skin Analyzer app if you're doing things virtually. Um, and the skincare, sir, the skincare um, profiles you use in person at parties. Also something I realized is that when you're doing things virtually, you have one flip chart like Sonia had, uh, or not one flip chart, of course, you only need one flip chart. And that is, you can get the flip chart from Mary Kay we have it on the boards if you want to print it that way. And you notice that Sonia was reading it. And that is very purposeful. Like she could do a skincare class in her sleep. I could do a skincare class with brand new products in my sleep because you're teaching people how to cleanse, exfoliate, tone, moisture balance, and protect. You're not, this is not about detailing all the products. It's teaching people why and how, and then matching their skin with the product that they need. And so we were, Mary Kay started this off to be teaching oriented because we have these technical products and far more products than when we started 60 years ago or even 37 years ago when I started, some people have come into just being product specialists. All they're doing is talking about products. And you guys, you're better off for a woman to like you, her face to feel good and feel like she learned something than for her to know everything technical about a product. That is a huge difference in Mary Kay. You're teaching her why 
the benefits she's going to get from it. You're matching the products up, but you took being able to recite every single clinical term. I mean, it, don't be afraid if people ask you something you don't know. Just say, you know what? That's a great question. I'm going to figure that out and get back to you in 24 hours. And you go on to Mary Kay in touch under Product Central and you get the information for her. And there are some Susie's I've done, I've read, you know, that spends lots of time on the internet studying skincare. And so she may challenge you and that's fine. You know what? I will find out. You're representing the number one selling line of skincare and color in the world. So um, something when Sonia was doing the closing that I know we've gotten away from in the virtual world because it wasn't possible, but you want to have a roll-up bag for each guest at your parties. So Sonia would have had those hanging on the back of the chairs or on another table and handed it to each woman in her formula because everything else is generic in the miracle set or if it's time-wise repair, whatever the case may be, so that the guests have the her roll-up bag sitting in front of her. And when she, for the table close, and when she walks to the individual consultation, then Sonia can pull out the products she's buying and put them in a bag or if she's buying it all and getting her roll-up bag, she's walking out with that roll-up bag. Um, also on the board, you're going to see my resources listed. So YouTube is not password protected. All of this information I've been talking about, the other skincare classes is under the um, Full Circle Skincare. And this will also be under Full Circle Skincare. Uh, it's a playlist on my YouTube. On my um, audio training, there is boot camp one through six. It's pulling apart everything Sonia just did. It's starting with getting a lead and having product on hand through increasing skincare sales and closing the party, the whole thing. And then there's also on my website, which is just my name. You can see it right here. This is also on the resources on the boards, dawnotten-sweeney.com. There's a section called everything skincare class. And you can see me do what Sonia's doing. Obviously, it's not the numerical set. But you guys, once you learn how to do a skincare class, you don't change it when products change. You change the flip chart pages and what you're matching people up with. Can you see how that keeps this business a lot more sustainable, duplicatable, and easy to pass on? This is like a franchise. You do not change a skincare class every time the company launches new products because we see as science is racing ahead in our world, so will skincare. And that's going to continue. But our skincare class, I still do my skincare class like I did when I started from those two observations and then booking eight to hold five. Um, Sonia, what is there? What's on the top of your mind right now that you're like, okay, I want to tell them why I did this, how I did it, or some, you know, thing that, you know, I sometimes say, because you guys know skincare class is perfect ever, but whoever just sat in front of that with Sonia, that was way better than anything they knew about Mary Kay or the product prior. Every party you walk out of, even 37 years later, I ask myself, what went well? Okay, check, cement that in. Let's do that again. And then what do I need to tweak and do differently? Um, so anything that you want to share with them that you want them to know about what you just did? So one thing is the flip chart has changed. So obviously, you know, I was reading this because everyone should be, because you didn't start this company. You, you want to stay on target, on point. If not, we can ramble and go in different directions. But I like the old flip chart. It talks more about Mary Kay, the woman. I feel like it touches on things here. So I may take, you know, a little sticky note and I may write something on there and I may put it in the new flip chart so that I remember to talk about it. Cause I really think that one of the things that's really lacking in, you know, the Mary Kay world right now is the story of the woman. If you haven't read the autobiography, you need to reread it. If you haven't read Pass It On by her assistant, I, I highly suggest that you read that because you're sharing not only a product, if you're only just sharing a product, you're hopping on one foot. If you're only sharing the opportunity, you're hopping on one foot where you want to be gliding confidently in this opportunity. She didn't want us to isolate just selling and she didn't want us to isolate just sharing the opportunity. She wanted us to do both. So I think the more that you know that you can kind of interject that into your story, I mean, there were things that 
I was saying because I know them because I've done this so many times, but I think it's really important to connect people to who Mary Kay was as the woman, as the entrepreneur, as a single mother, as a woman of faith. Like, I think that there's a lot of different things that can be intertwined in that. And I think that as you know, we're, we just celebrated our 60th anniversary. This is a story and we need to continue to pass this on. As you heard me say, we're only in 10% of the market. Like we need to get out there and we need to do it at a way faster rate. And I think that the hybrid of this is fantastic. The computer's great. And I've become such a digital DJ diva in the last three years, but in-person is so fantastic. So as I'm sitting in the center, down the hall. There are consultants that are watching this. There are guests that are live here. We've got to get back to, it's not virtual or in-person. It's, and it's doing both of them, like sharing the opportunity and the product. It's not one or the other, it's and. And I think that's the, the biggest piece that I want everyone is, you know, even in your daily life, when you're talking, like you can talk about Mary Kay and not feel like you're targeting someone, you know, for the product. It's something that has become so embedded in my soul that I share with everyone, every single one. Not everyone's gonna come. It's the some will, some won't, so what, someone else is waiting, but there's such a story and we really, you know, with the rebranding, we really need to bring that to more people is, is her story. Cause I mean, her story is, um, I mean, it's like no other story. So it needs to, you know, get out there since she's been gone since 2001. So that would be my, one thing I would say is really get to know your flip chart, like do it 10 times. Like we all need to do a 10 mm -hmm. party. Week, so get to get <laughs> in the flip chart. They can order on section two, Mary yep. Kay in touch, put it on your next order. Yep. Um, also her autobiography. If you don't have that, it comes in the starter kit. I believe when people order their starter yep. kit, um, and that is a great assignment to start off the new year. Like I believe that Every consultant, regardless of um, how big or little your Mary Kay goals are, should read that every year as a refresher. Every time I read it, I learn something new, but it reinvigorates me to share um, this product and opportunity with people even after 37 years. So um, grab that. That's an assignment for to start your new year off is to read your Mary Kay autobiography. And what Sonia is saying is so true, you guys. When we um, we were so excited about what Mary Kay gave us. That is what we were selling is the opportunity in the culture. Number one, that's what I signed up for. Um, and that is what I stay in for. And we have, there's some people who have slid into being a product driven company. So we're just selling stuff. And that's never what Mary Kay intended. She intended this to be first and foremost, an opportunity for women to be paid what they're worth around the priorities of God, family, career. And the product was what connected us with women to be able to tell them about this culture and this opportunity. And someone can be part of the culture, even if they're not a consultant. Obviously, I think everyone should be a consultant and give it a shot and make a decision on your own experience versus someone else's. Um, and what, I mean, I figured, what do I have to lose? I, I could get my stuff at half off in tax deductions. I'd be getting it right now. It's easier than having a baby in December. Get, start a Mary Kay business today. December could be a tax deduction. Getting your starter kits a tax deduction, part of your phone, all that stuff tax deductions, um, very advantageous um, financially and accounting wise. Just make sure you use an accountant that understands Mary Kay business for sure. Um, but it was always about the opportunity. If I went to a party and all of it was about products and just selling stuff, that's it. And then getting a starter kit to get my stuff at cost, you guys, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't know most of the people on this screen. My life and my family's life would look a lot different. Um, and our eternity would look a lot different too. And so that is a, everything that is cool in Mary Kay now is old school. Old school is the cool school now. And you guys, we know this because I was trained by Debbie Moore, Kathy Hallou, Daylene White, who was, you know, 0001 consultant and Mary Kay Ash. This hasn't changed. And I don't know about you, but I love it that I don't have to change what I do. Every product launch the company has, I get to connect with women. 
use this product and they get to be part of our culture hosting a party, being our customers. I guarantee you, Target, uh, Ulta, uh, Macy's, Dillard's, they are not connecting with women and helping them feel better about themselves and having relationships with them for decades. I have consultants and, and customers who have been with me almost 40 years. You guys, we've done a lot of life together. I was 23 when I started. And when I talked to Debbie Moore, she changed Alden and Jake's diapers. Daylene White had both my kids in diapers on her lap at my house on St. Simon's Island. Like this, people can be part of our culture as a customer, as a hostess, or as a consultant and a director. They get to pick that. The Mary Kay culture is not set aside just for people who are actively building their Mary Kay business. And that's how Mary Kay wanted it. You know, she said, you may be the only Bible some people ever read. You may be the only Mary Kay that some people ever meet. Um, okay, let's, prior to the hostess getting those people together, Sonia, talk about some things that you do to coach the hostess to have the best party situation set up for you. Um, you did mention that you went to her house before and did like a dash out the door, a color look. You could use a color card. Um, you can watch the uh, color uh, training that's on my YouTube. Alden did a beautiful job with that. So if you want more advanced color, these videos are great, you guys. You could always do a party and say, I'm learning how to do this. Will you come and watch this video and we're gonna do this together? Um, so you're learning and earning at the same time. But what things um, are helpful? And, and the reason you do color with the hostess first is because you're not doing them with the guest at the party. They get back together with you. That's the reason when people are going out every day and having to get new leads, like that's a stressful way to build a Mary Kay business because that's a C lead, which I talk about in boot camp. A C lead has only 20% follow through on it. That's someone that you don't know. Uh, B lead are the ones that the people just gave Sonia the names. They were referred from an A lead is someone who's sitting with you and you know, and is trying the product. So you wanna get your business. When I move to new areas, when I grow new areas, I always have to work with C leads. We always do. No one has enough family and friends to build their whole business. But the goal is to get to the point that the business that you need to have is coming from A and B leads. So that is from referrals and bookings from bookings. And that's something it's not like, okay, I just do a party. I sell as much as I can. And then it's like, okay, now I got to circle back around and ask her to host a party or circle back around and get referrals from her. Circle back around and do the four point recruiting plan. Mm -mm. It's all done right there at the party. And I was shy. I didn't like going out and warm booking on purpose. And so I got really good. Like everyone was giving me names because they liked it. They had fun. They saw what I was doing. They, they found that it's, it's not pushy. This is not about sales. This is about learning and they're enjoying it. And they like the um, supporting a woman's dream and goals. And they also like the company principles of the foundation um, that based on the golden rule and then the foundation that supports cancer research that impact women and um, advocating for women um, in domestic shelters and educating to keep women out of domestically violent situations, which is more than are adversely affected by cancer. And women like that. They want to, like, I want to know, I would rather buy from you to support your dream than going to Ulta and buying from some stranger and a company that I have no idea what their values are. I don't know how they treat their employees. I don't know what they do with their profits. I don't know what they support. And if they do support something, are they doing it because a marketing company told them that they need to be socially responsible right now because that's what, you know, Gen Z or millennials want or like? Or Mary Kay, like, that's who we are. We've just always been that because that's who Mary Kay Ash was. So anything prior to that class happening that you want them to know? Educating, coaching the hostess, educating, pre-profiling the guest prior to the party happening. So it's super important because the result that you're going to get when they sit down is completely reflective of what you've done before. I mean, you can't have a dinner party and say, oh, I'm going to have people over 
but I, I don't know what I'm going to serve. I, you know, I don't know how many people are coming. I might have enough food. I might not like it's, it's fly by the seat of my pants. I, I'm fine with that. Like my personality type, I don't do well with that. I like to be organized, controlled. I love to host people. So it's super important, no matter if you're doing something virtually or if you're doing it in person, you have to take a step back and say, okay, how would I want to be treated? First and foremost, like if you really think about that, you want to know what's in it for you. Why should I host a party? So as you heard in my table close, you know, if money were no object, what would you take home today? And obviously the best way is to get leads from leads because then you don't have to go and feel like, you know, you're standing there naked and someone's going to say no to you as, you know, you're like, oh, wow, you have great eyes, you know, blah, blah, blah. Like that works for some people. And if that works for you, do it. I would far rather have someone in my, you know, um, presence where I can have a conversation and say, you know what, Don, I know that you want everything on the sheet. I know that Christmas just came and went, but now you're going to be a hostess. Why? Because you get to make a wish list. You get to see more products. I'm going to pamper you in a different way because I'm going to tell you what I really take care of my hostesses. It doesn't matter if they're virtual or in person. I'm giving something for free. I do, you know, a birthday message to all my friends on Facebook because it's a way of connecting to people to if they like something and, and I say a little birdie told me it's your birthday, blah, 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 blah. And then they heart it or they say, thank you. Oh, I'm going in. You allow, you open the door, I'm coming. So I'm going to have a voice message to them saying, you know what, Don, I love to pick a person on their birthday and I want to make sure that you're blessed. It's just relational. How are you getting yourself in front of people? Once you're in front of people, you have to, again, take the steps necessary so that you're building that relationship with them. And, oh, Don, I know that you want the microderm. I know you want the car wash for your face. Like, taking notes of what she wants and connecting her back to why is she doing this? If she's going to do it, you know, go big or go home. Like you want her to make sure that she's going to get the most for her bang by being the hostess. I always send a pig, pick, pink pick me up package to them. So maybe it's a few items that we didn't try so that she's falling in love with it. And now ladies, there's so many different ways to approach this in a zoom, in a private Facebook group, in a live, in a week long party, in person, like, you have so many different options, but it doesn't matter if it's virtual or in person. It's just making sure that you're connecting to the hostess. Why is she doing it? What's in it for her? What does she need to do? What are you going to do? Like, you just need to like understand the rules of the game before the game starts and you're going to get a different result. I mean, that's one strength that I have is if it's virtual or in person, I have the ability. It's one of my things. I, I worked with a life coach. I'm an activist. Put me in a room with no one I know, and I'm going to figure out a commonality because I treat everyone the way that I want to be treated. So, you know, making sure that you're connecting the hostess and giving her not, okay, let's do a party. Nope. Here's my date book. I have two days. Like, What's better for you this day or this day? Like you've got to make things a little bit more concrete because if not, you're again, putting yourself in a situation that you know, she's only going to follow your lead. So you're the dance person who's in charge. You're the male in, in the dancing because the male leads the woman. So you just have to make sure that you are, you know, getting names and phone numbers. You're doing the things that you need to do at a swift, quick rate. Because if you let time go between, Mary Kay said, the reason we get inventory is because if not, when it's the order comes in, someone jumped out the window. He broke his leg. I don't have any money. I'm broke. Like you, you, you have to like, wrangle things in very quickly. So making sure that you're coaching that hostess, hostess. And I know that you have it done because I did the virtual how to coach your hostess. And now, you know, the in-person piece, it's no different. It's just making sure that you're going through the checklist. And I'm pretty sure in the flip chart here, it gives you exactly what you should be doing. So if you don't have a flip chart, literally it says, get ready, create a Mary Kay shop, my link, share it with your hostess guests several days prior to the party. If you also have, if it's going to be part in person or part virtual, how to get set up, you know, what, to, I mean, like people, it, it's, it's, it's right here. Like you just need to, <laughs> you just need to get some hostesses, get excited. Cause I'm the person who goes to the grocery store and I see something in someone's cart and I'm like, what's that? What do you use that for? And she starts talking about it and she's like, oh, this is the best thing ever. I'm like, well, it's going in my car now. <laughs> if she's going to get excited about it and she's going to talk about it like that to me. So again, you just have to keep the enthusiasm. It's just like anything you, you have to make sure that they know what's in it for them. And you're letting them know how this is going to flow. I mean, 
there's really no rhyme or reason to it. It's just being consistent. Mm -hmm. Well, um, Sonia's talking about the date book. And so having your date book, that's one of your assignments. Highlight your date book. So when are you available to do parties? And also too, you know, you'll get to the point where you can't run all over town to do a single person's facial and drive an hour and a half there and back. That's three hours. And so I always highlighted my date book for when I was going to be at my studio. So if you're doing things at your home or at a studio, you can filter that in. I've been at seasons in my business where I could do nothing. Like one of our apartments when Larry and I were first married was 72 stairs up the side of a mountain literally like the, it was on a mine shaft. So people weren't really excited about doing that. And so I had it, I just offered going to them. I never offered them coming to me. Also, there's been times that my house wasn't set up for people to come into my house. Um, and, you know, with my husband being a federal agent, there were seasons that we weren't having people I didn't know into our house because of my business. So I was going there or finding a place. There's community centers. There's different things that you can do. Um, but highlighting your date books, so you're giving them a choice of this or this. Not, you know, I'm in a training and when can you get together? I have all the time in the world. First off, that's not like, that's not a business. That's like a hobby. Like when you're going to scrapbook. Anytime is good. No, it's like, I want to, I want to be perceived from the very beginning as a business owner and the type of business owner, like the dentist, the doctor, or the hairdresser, um, that if you did not schedule your appointment months in advance, you weren't getting one. And if you didn't show up, you're paying for it anyways. Like that's how I was taught to represent my Mary Kay business, because I was taught that if I would work this like a business, it will pay me more than any other business ever would. And that has been proven accurate. Um, so highlighting your date book. Um, the, in the flip chart, something that I don't think is in the new one that I would add a sticky note for is that Mary Kay Ash says that there's a new skincare consultant at every party. Who is it at this one? And then you stop talking and they start telling on each other because they know each other. Sonia, you should do this. You're an educator. You're always helping us before we go out putting our makeup on. You're a natural leader. You just listen to that information when you say it. Um, also, your before, now, and future story. So before Mary Kay, you saw Sonia talk about what she had done, part of her life. Right now, what she's doing with the Mary Kay and also future that she's building a national area. If that's not your story, you don't tell them someone else's story. You don't make something up. Your story is your story to impact the people that are in front of you. And so you just be genuine. You know, this is why I started. I'm taking my family to Disney World this year. And so I'm starting this business. I'm getting my feet wet to see if I can do this in retirement or to see if I this can replace my other job or, you know, I just got divorced. I need way more money or et cetera. I need to pay off college debt that I've had for decades, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Tell them your story. But it's like before now, future is 1.5 minutes. They didn't come to hear you talk about yourself. Your job is just to share enough so they're connecting with you because I really, I can't say it enough. Like if people like you at the party and feel like you're being sincere and are wanting to help them, they're going to trust you. Whereas if you're so nervous about saying the wrong thing, like when someone's nervous, I'm like, why are you nervous? Like you're teaching me how to wash my face. Like what is going on here? Like, I'm not going to follow that person anywhere, but also I'm going to wonder like, what are you nervous about? Like, I think people are nervous when they're not telling the truth. Like I just tell the truth. Like if you start this business, you have all the information. This is a franchise. The first day a Chick-fil-A opens up, they don't sit there and go, oh my gosh, I'm a nervous wreck. Like, what should I tell them about these products and how do I answer it? How do I bring this into the cash register? And what if they don't like it? Chick-fil-A has been around a long time. Everyone loves it. Well, and if they don't, that's their personal preference. Mary Kay has been around a long time. A lot of people love it. And if they don't, that's their own personal preference. But the person who is franchising out the Chick-fil-A isn't crying about the people who aren't coming or don't like it or have an issue because they believe in the product, in the process. And Mary Kay set this up for us. This is a franchise. And the closer you stay to the franchise rules, well, in other endeavors, you'll get fired. You'll get your franchise taken away from you if you just decide to go to your, you know, Piggly Wiggly and buy chicken that day to sell, 
you know, because you ran low on the chicken from Chick-fil-A's, you know, suppliers. You're going to get fired for sure. And Mary Kay, you don't get fired, but you just don't make money. Like if you kind of feel like you've been running in circles and not making what you want or need from your Mary Kay business or need it to be more, what a perfect time. You're going to be a new consultant today. Um, like just pretend like you're a brand new consultant. If your director has a training packet, use hers. If she doesn't, go onto my website. The password is legacy on my website, the dawnotten-sweeney.com. This is on the boards. Um, and there's a section called new consultants. Print off my training packet. I mean, there may be some things that are specific to my area, but most is pretty generic. Ask your director, you know, what if, if, if this is what it is on Dawn's, what should I change this to? But the most important pages are booking your perfect start and your power start. Um, and then do it, earning your pearls of sharing by the 15th of January. Because by that point in time, a perfect start is five parties. A power starts 10. We're going to go through some Mary Kay math in our training this afternoon because some of you have been taught otherwise, and that is not correct Mary Kay math. And when people are taught that, you know, two plus two equals five, they're always going to get that answer wrong. They're not going to get the correct results. Two plus two equals four. So there's the Mary Kay math that we're going to go over so that you're working with correct Mary Kay, you know, duplicatable, profitable, sustainable numbers. So a um, couple other things about the party, and then I'm going to um, give you guys what, you know, my suggestion of what I would encourage you to do in the next hour and a half before we come back into the Zoom room at um, one o'clock. Um, at the table, um, I would have people, and I think Sonia did this, compliment each other. You know, what did you like about, like, how, what do you like about Sonia's skin? What, what do you notice different about it? She had people touch their skin. We are always taught you touch it and you nod your head and you look everyone in the eyes. You make eye contact with everyone around the table. Um, there's a table close, which you saw her do, and an individual consultation. So if consultants have guests here, that's the first thing they do when they get done. They go through the individual consultation as Sonia shared, you know, which sets best for you. Um, rebooking her color appointment for her. Um, she has names written down on her profile card. So those could be her guests. If she wants to do it by herself, then you tell her the times that you do individual appointments. If she wants to do it virtually on Zoom or however you're going to do that, you set that up. Or if it's a party in person, these are the times. This is my date book. Write your name in my date book at that time. Her taking ownership of that you know, the, her writing it in there was always important. The individual consultation is away from the table. You and the hostess have decided where that's going to be. And you guys, that's really important. You know, sales, we sold a lot virtually, but in person you sell more because you can customize with that person. You can look her in the eye. And if she's sitting around a table with her mother-in-law and sister-in-law, she may not want to say, I don't have any money after Christmas. We're a little scared about what's going to happen in January when the bills start coming in. And you can talk to her about the opportunity to make money and change that or have her host a party to get the products for free. Those, Mary Kay never wanted anyone embarrassed. And so she wanted the financial conversations to be held individually with people in privacy, individual consultations. Um, that again, like is treating people how you want to be treated yourself. And, you know, when people think, you know, if you have issues with feeling like you're being pushy, I need you to talk that through with your director and flip that because the, the people who I find are the most worried about being pushy are being unprofessional because they're not closing a party. If I go to a Mary Kay party, I know she sells Mary Kay. We know how direct sales work. If you walk into a store, you know they sell stuff at the store. And so to not offer them that, you're a professional presenter. And that's not what Mary Kay set this up to be. She set this up so that you're a personal beauty consultant that's looking out for her best interest. Pushing would mean, no, I can't afford the whole thing. I just want the skincare basic set. And you continue to push and push and push to get her to get more. No, you want her walking out of there feeling good about the whole transaction. Not like you were a used car salesman or a timeshare person. And if you had great experiences with those people, fantastic. I have not. And so I never wanted anyone to have that taste in their mouth about Mary Kay. 
And if you meet anyone that has that taste in their mouth about Mary Kay, then your job is to change it and say, you know what? Leave your pocketbook at home. I just want you to meet my Mary Kay experience because that's not it. That's not who Mary Kay Ash. And when you've just read her autobiography, you know who she is. Mm -hmm. You know her guts, her soul, her mind, and what she set up for us. Um, for us, she could have retired, you guys. Her husband died a week before this started. She could, she could have said, you're right. That accountant attorney said, take your $5,000. You are going to work the rest of your life if this doesn't work. And chances are, numerically, it's not going to work. She did this for us. And now you get to do it for other people. I know you agree with me. To whom much is given, much is required. You now know what this whole Mary Kay thing is all about. And now we're going to talk in the afternoon about what to do and be, to be a good financial steward on the other side of sharing with women and helping women feel better about themselves through this product and opportunity. So the guest also if they're interested in the business, you guys, if you have time at parties, I mean, like Sonia said, what would hold you back? You can send someone a link right then and there. If she has a lot of questions, though, you need to wrap up that party because that hostess is getting hostess credit and you have a time frame for everyone to be there. You notice how Sonia had you um, had the guest write down answers to those questions that's super handy because if someone has to leave early because their husband didn't pick their son up from soccer and she's got a bolt out of it, you have the answers to follow up with her. Or if it's a big party and you don't have time to go through all the close individual consultations, you set up a time that night within 24 hours, a time to call her and go through that on Zoom or on the phone. But at the end of the party, you pick out two people that you'd most like to work with. That's called the four-point recruiting plan. You are picking out people that you want to work with. And so it's not when people say, well, I interview everyone. Well, no, you don't because it's impossible to interview everyone because an interview is finding out why she would do it and answering her questions and concerns. And you guys, honestly, you don't. I do parties that I may not want anyone there representing Mary Kay. And I do parties that I want everyone there representing Mary Kay. But I'm picking out at every party. I'm looking for characteristics. And I'm saying, Sonia, at every party, I pick out someone that I most want to work with. And it's you. I don't know if you can stay late at this party. Or can we call? Can I talk to you tonight or tomorrow morning in person or on the phone? Well, I'm really busy. OK, great. What time are you driving to work in your business? Great. We can talk on the phone tomorrow morning, 6.30 AM. Perfect. I'm going to give you this three minute video, which is also on the boards to watch, jot down any questions that you have, and I'll answer them then. And I know you really want it, the satin lips. So I'm going to give that to you for free for taking this time and helping me out. This is part of my leadership training. Okay, guys, these are your assignments. So if you have guests, you're doing your individual consultation, including wrapping up the four point recruiting plan. Um, if, you know, if you did do it, why? What would hold you back from doing it now? Consult the guests that sign up get their consultant number, they can take part in our one o'clock session. So they're going to start their training right away um, with me and a professional um, financial advisor teaching them. And everyone, this is your lunch between now and one. These are your assignments. Making a list of 20 women that have skin that either you've chickened out on talking to about the product um, or they have never tried, they've never been to a live skincare class. Um, a target market are you know, women that uh, if they like the skincare, they can buy it and they will buy it. Um, and they're also women that if this opportunity is something that they want to do, they have access to a $125 plus the sample packet, plus they want to hear about running it like a business owner. So I want you to pick people that are, that if they decided to do Mary Kay, they'd be successful. You're 20 women that have skin. And then you're gonna use the dialogue, perfect start, power start dialogue. It's in the boards. It's on my, in my training packet, but it's separated out in the boards so that you can take a look at that and use that script. You may not be brand new, but you may be in a leadership training program. You may be earning a car. You may be earning a trip, you know, to take your family on to Italy, whatever the case may be. And then these are the times I have available, which is better for you. I want to see who's going to book eight to hold five, book eight parties to hold five with January 15th being the deadline. So highlight your date book between now and January 15th. 
booking eight to hold five by the 15th of January. Everyone's brand new again. Um, and I wanna see who is gonna get the most bookings to be held. And there'll probably be prizes for me involved in this. We'll be doing a little reco on that when we get back together at one before we hear our guest speaker. So that is your assignment. We're gonna be back in this room together at one o'clock. Um, if you have any directors, uh, consultants with team members that you want to have them plugged in, they're welcome to plug in with us at um, one o'clock. And let's give Sonia a great big round of applause for doing our model skincare class. Okay, you guys, I will see you at one.